Welcome to Boulder, Colorado and a Rocky Mountain High. Folsom Field, one of the most beautiful settings in sports. Ralphie is out there looking to run over somebody, and the Buffaloes are fired up and ready today. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the snake pit of an environment, just trying to get out alive. This will be fun, as we'll see the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. And the Buffaloes will kick this deep to start us off. Returner looking to create better field position. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. So Alabama's offense going to get the chance to start this game off. And as this quarterback takes the field, eager to see how he plays today. There's a certain gravity about him you can tell from the warm-up song the way the team responds and rallies around him can he come through on a big stage here yeah this guy is their superman and when that opening kickoff is kicked up into the air his cape goes on he sets everything into place gets the offense out of jams does it in pressure situations he's the arms and legs of this offensive system but also the heart of this team second down play coming up for this offense Gonna run it. It's Miller. He's past the marker and still going. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Well, I know people want to talk about the spread, and Alabama's offense has changed over the years, but at the end of the day, with this coaching staff, it still comes down to the line of scrimmage and the ability to pound the rock. Think about the backs they've had in recent years. Mark Ingram and Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry, Jameer Gibbs most recently. This is an offense that still wants to control things up front and beat you down. Easy throw to a wide-open receiver downfield. A big play moves the ball across midfield to the opponent's 43. You know, Chris, if we would have told Bear Bryant that Alabama would have a wide receiver that won a Heisman in recent years, I don't think he would have believed us. But that's where we are. They've been some great ones in the past. We're seeing some great-looking receivers on this unit right now. There's the handoff. It's a two-yard game, second and eight coming up. You see, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Important second down play coming up. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Has the first down and more. Physical run earns the first down. Well, they've had an entire week to try to find weaknesses in this defense and how to attack. And here in the opening drive, they're using the receiver in motion to get him the ball in space and give him those blockers out in front. Great job of designing the play and great execution here by this offense. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. And there's the handoff. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Boy, the script that this offense coordinator has put together to open this game is perfect. We've seen a little bit of everything. Varying formations, personnel groupings, run, pass, and it's working to perfection. Now, as they move the ball into the red zone area, can they put this ball into the end zone? First and goal, they'll try to run it in. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well do you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Caught down at the seven. The completion moves them closer to the goal line. This defense is spread out all over the field, trying to be able to make plays in space. That is a key. Good job of tackling and keeping him out of the end zone. The offense.
offense has been moving backwards here. Now a long way to go on third and goal. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Pass caught, can he get in? The defense makes the stop at the three. On third downs like this, you can only allow completions in front of you as long as you can protect the sticks. And that's what the defense did here. They knew where the sticks were, and they are able to make the tackle short of the line. So it looks like they'll bring the field goal unit onto the field. This will be a chip shot from just 20 yards away. And he knocks it right through the uprights. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. And it's field of returner trying to create good field position here. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. So Colorado's offense comes out for their first possession today. And with such a dangerous wide receiver on the field here, puts a lot of stress in the secondary. This strong safety Kirk, maybe not necessarily built as a great coverage guy, he's going to have to be big today. Yeah, he really is, Chris. He's known for his physicality. This safety's going to have to do a good job of cleaning up tackles, but also being an extra guy to play keep away. He's good at doing both, but this receiver has great ball skills and the ability to break away with speed. Going to be a unique matchup to follow. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. Now they're on a draw play. They stop him at the 45, but that's good for a first down. Hey, how about the quarterback here with his eyes downfield selling the pass to open that play up? Man, offensive line, really good job of selling and then getting upfield to that second level to be able to pick up some key blocks. Here comes the up-tempo offense. First down, they go right back to him. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they don't block the defensive end. who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. This middle linebacker can play all over the field. That's how they bring him in the blitz, and he gets home. Yeah, usually you think of this middle linebacker. He's kind of a sideline-to-sideline sideline player defending the run, but here the, the timing and the instincts as a blitzer coming right through the middle of that offensive line, and he gets to the quarterback. That sack makes it third down. Back to throw. It's Sanders. Defense is coming after him. Again, he's just trapped and sacked in the pocket. Now he just felt that one coming. Third down and long. Those defensive linemen are in that sprinter stance. They know the offense is going to have to throw. Great job of using that athletic ability and speed to get after the quarterback to come up with that sack. The Buffaloes will bring their punt team onto the field. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. The last possession, they moved it, but settled for a chip shot. So sort of an unsatisfying result. Looking to do more here. Breaks loose at the 40. The tackle is finally made, but a huge gain. They'll spot the ball near midfield at the plus 49. 
How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. A pop pass on the jet sweep. He shreds the tackle. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Inside the 10. Who could not stop him? He's in. Touchdown, Alabama. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point makes it a 10-point game. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And the return starts just inside the end zone. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? And the game moves the ball to the 20-yard line. Hat on the hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. Looking to pass. It's Sanders. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. They bring him down, but he reaches the 30-yard line. And some big plays through the air have been a big part of the story so far. These receivers have shown up today. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. Graham behind the line. It's Hunter. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Boy, a wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Now it's second down here. And now they run the draw play. And that is a first down gain. Moves the ball to the 40. Boy, draws and screens are a great way to counter an effective pass rush. Allow those defensive ends to get upfield and then hand it off at the last second. And the Buffaloes looking to run some tempo here. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. And the freshman making an impact play there. I can't believe the amount of pressure this defense is getting on this quarterback. Sack after sack. Well, you got to think about changing things up. The snap count, the scheme, anything at all to help this offensive line. They're overmatched so far in this game.
and the Buffaloes will line up to boot it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. Turner tackled right there. That's where they'll start the drive. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here? Or will the defense come up with a stop? Breaks loose at the 40. Stop at the 43, but that's enough to make a first down. Chris, I don't know. There's just something about that Bama uniform. When they run the football, it just feels right. It's a combination of having those big offensive linemen, a really physical approach at the line of scrimmage, and backs that are able to pick up first downs like that right there. Beautiful play. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty brings up third down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. So the ball plays right at the 50. Offense looking to pick up the first down here on third and short. From the shotgun, drops back. QB to the tight end for a completion. Tackle is finally made, but not before. It's a huge gain down to the 25. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. And the back gets the football. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up. The back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Offense set for the sixth play in this drive. Tailback tests the middle of the defense. And he's finally tackled out at the two-yard line. Well, I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Set up now at the two-yard line. Can they score here on a third down play? They'll run the option. The back's got it on the pitch. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Bama. Well, when you have a big physical offensive line, you can wait to third and goal and rely on them and the running back to get you a touchdown. Here comes the point after attempt. And the PAT puts them up 17 now. The kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? 
And the tackle is made after a four-yard gain, so second and six. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. The Buffaloes looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Ending off on the draw play. Football comes out. Defense recovers the fumble. Big takeaway. I get being upset at the ball care for coughing up the ball, but let's not ignore how big of a hit that was. Sometimes you just have to give credit to the defender for making a great play. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Hey, whether it's been on the inside or bouncing things to the outside, this guy has shown you everything that he has to offer and a big part of the reason why they're enjoying this nice lead. Alabama now operating in the red zone. Play action here on first down. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Incompletion sets up a second down. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. This running back's had a big night, kind of night you dream about, but the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. It's the two-minute warning. We've got a blowout developing here before halftime. Now it's third and short from the 21. Defense trying to make a stand here and prevent a touchdown. To throw, it's Milrow. Let's it go quickly. He's a wide-open receiver, complete. Touchdown, tied. Still no answer for this offensive machine. Well, no surprise for an offense this good. Short field, quick touchdown. Yeah, you get into the red zone, though, there's a tendency to want to get conservative. I love that the offensive coordinator and the quarterback kept attacking until they came away with seven points. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. He'll bring it out from his end zone. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Buffalo's offense is back out there on the field. This has been a rough first half. They'll have to regroup in an intermission. But in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. They look to throw it here on second down. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. Scanning the field. It's Sanders. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. An explosive play. They'll finally make the tackle down at the 27-yard line. This is the risk you take as a defensive coordinator when you play press man. You're betting that your guy's better than that receiver. Pretty good coverage, but how about the throw by the quarterback to take away any threat at all from that corner? And the Buffaloes begin a new series here, first and ten. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. 
when the pocket delivers over the middle. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. Pass caught, second down now. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. A lot of times, this can be a tough play to defend because you're so concerned with getting pressure on the quarterback. But here, the defense does a good job of coming off of coverage and chasing down the receiver. Now it's third and short from the 21. Defense trying to make a stand here and prevent a touchdown. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Can't find anybody on third down. Throws it away. And now fourth down coming up. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. You've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. The decision is not to go for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So they settled for three here, and now the kickoff. See if the opposing offense can answer before halftime. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. We'd expect a prudent decision here, backed up near their own end zone. Just run the clock out and get to halftime. Finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. First down, looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle. It's Adams. And the offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Here's a first and ten play. Back to pass. It's Milrow. Eludes the rush. Slides down to avoid the tackle. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. So on second down, they'll try it out the field goal unit, trying to get three before halftime. The field goal is good. And that will extend their lead even further. You know, I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. And here's the return from inside the five. And the coverage team brings him down as the clock runs out in the first half of play. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, yeoman's work so far today in Boulder. And welcome in to the halftime update. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. For now, let's get back to the guys in the booth to start up this second half. Alabama will kick it off to start the second half. 
Fields it just outside the goal line. Returner steps out of bounds at the 17. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Makes a quick grab. You know, not a lot of room there for the quarterback to operate, but he shows the accuracy to be able to make that throw and get some yards. Pass complete. It's second down now. The offense with some pre-snap motion. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. Back behind the quarterback, a line in the pistol. On first down, it's play action. Looking for the wide out. Grab down the middle, it's Hunter. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. That's a great job of working the middle of the field by this quarterback, and he picks up big yards. Still searching for their first touchdown of the game, but on the move now. It's first and ten. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. They bring him down after a short gain there. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun and looking for a receiver. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. The Buffaloes have first and ten here. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Looking to throw it again. Let's it fly out of the wideout. And he scores! Touchdown, Colorado! That's a crucial response for this offense, but still plenty of work to do here in the third quarter. Well, I love that they're still fighting and competing. You can tell they've made some adjustments at half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. Which makes the decision to go for a two-point conversion. Looking to throw. It's Sanders. Pass incomplete under heavy pressure. Just got it away. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. They'll return it from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They're trying to build this lead here. Had to settle for three last time out. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Picks up the first, looking for more. Worked out of bounds, but it's another big game. This offense producing chunk plays through the air. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. Game moves the ball to the 38, another first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Finds his man, it's Miller. Defense surrounds him, just a short gain on that completion. Made the catch, but he was surrounded, Kirk. Not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. Catch made on the out route. Breaking free at the 35. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. To stretch the lead, the route is on. 
Michael, I love to watch this offense. It's one thing to study the film, but to watch these guys in person, you saw it in the first half, seem to score in every possession. And here they are coming out to start the second half with another touchdown. Lining up to try the extra point. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And they've got the returner corralled. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. The short completion of the tight end. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Big pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Breaks it into the clear. It's a sprint. Tackle at the 40. That'll earn a fresh set of downs. They'll run this play from the pistol formation. Quarterback still with the football. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. Oh, the read option here, and the quarterback keeps it. I thought he was going to get out and maybe take this downfield for big yards. The defense, very fortunate to keep him to a shorter gain. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. He pulls it in for a big gain. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. I feel like this quarterback could make this throw in his sleep. It's like clockwork, a cruel route against zone. And the quarterback, the only thing is he had to fit it into a tight window for that first down completion. And the Buffaloes pick up enough yards to move the sticks. Off the play fake on first down. He's looking deep here. Catch made down inside the 15-yard line. And they stop him just short, but the defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. And the Buffaloes looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. The back in motion now. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffs. Now this defense is so caught up in all the wide receivers, they forgot about the running back. He's not just back there running the ball. This guy's involved in the passing game. A nice throw and catch and a touchdown. Extra point try coming now. And it's good. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. They'll hand it off. He's tackled short of the 30, but that's good enough for a first down. 
Boy, another nice game by this back. He has had a beautiful day today running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice lead today. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. And the same runner has got it again. And he's got it already past the first down marker. They bring him down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. First and ten play coming up. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. I'm not sure the quarterback makes the right decision on this one. I think if he'd do it over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision. That one's incomplete. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Snags the quick throw. Defense finally brings him down, but a nice chunk play. You know, plays like this are what Alabama offense is all about. They run the football, and then they're efficient within their passing game. Think about it. They won a couple national championships with Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron by just being efficient and playing smart at the position and being a great complement to that running game in the defense. Caught behind the line. It's law. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, any time a quarterback has a day like this, really it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Takes the handoff. It's Miller. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. To the air, it's Milrow. Catch hauled in here over the middle. The tackle is made, but the game sets the offense up. First and goal from the nine. Chris, a lot of these NFL scouts think that his speed is unique. I think it's the route running and the instincts to read coverage that really separates him. He has put on a show today. Alabama's offense now lining up on first and goal. The shotgun running play call. Touchdown, Alabama. And the route is on. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. Now they line up to kick the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. Looks like he'll try to make a play with the return. And the returner is brought down. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. 
caught quickly. The defense reacts quickly. A very short game on the play. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. That completion sets up a second down play. To the air. It's Sanders. Pressure is coming. On the junior gets home making a sack there. Chris, I'm really surprised by the way this game has turned out. That's another sack by this defense. They've done such a great job of preparing a plan to get ready for one of the top quarterbacks in the country. They've kept him out of sync, applied pressure, and a big part of the reason they're enjoying this lead right now. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Looks to the left for a quick throw. It's caught downfield. He's tackled short of the 30, but that's good enough for a first down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. On first and 10, look at the throw. It's a quick grab. They bring him down, but a solid game there in first down. Looks to be just inches short of the marker. How about the offense here dialing up a good zone beater? Let's give credit to the coordinator for calling the right play at the right time and the receiver finding the hole in that zone. Second down play coming up. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. Makes a quick catch. Tackle, but first down. Buffaloes are moving quickly down the field. Back to throw again. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. And the Buffaloes starting a new series here on first and ten. Dropping back, it's Sanders. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Boy, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. And the Buffaloes are in the red zone. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Receiver makes the grab. Defense is all around the country. Got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he makes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffaloes. This is a nice touchdown and a great play call. Just get this receiver in space and let him make people miss and use his speed to get to the end zone. That's what they did here, and it pays off. See if they can convert the point after. And it's up and good. I believe they can line up here and go for the onside kick. And the hand seem able to make the crucial recovery. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? Breaking free at the 35. 
You make the tackle, but that's an excellent game. Moves the ball to the 33. What a shock, right? I mean, this guy once again gets his hands on the football, and great things seems to happen. He's over 120 yards on the day, and it's really been a combination of his vision and speed along with really dominant offensive line play. They'll work the clock here with the running game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Trying to find room. It's Miller. Six-yard game sets up a third and four. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. So let's see what the play caller likes here on third and short from the plus 27. And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. So now from the 27, the offense faces a third and short. How aggressive will they play it? From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. How impressive have these guys been up front today? Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. Offense has reached the red zone now. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Run down after a seven-yard gain, so it's second and three. Uh, you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them, and the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job of eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. We'll give it to the running back. That strong run defense, not much of a gain on the play. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. Quick throw, the catch is made. Touchdown, Bama. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. You know, coaches love to see a football team that doesn't get caught up in the, the scoreboard. They're just out executing and doing what needs to be done. That's what we're seeing from this offense. Yeah, they continue to put points on the board and they're pulling away. I just love to see the execution and how they're going about their business.